Hello, today we will look at how an aircraft's speed is measured. To measure the speed at which an aircraft is flying, we need to understand something called as the dynamic pressure. In order to understand dynamic pressure, we also need to look at total pressure and static pressure. First, let's see what is dynamic pressure. Because of the movement of air, in relation to the body, a force is exerted on the body, such as an aircraft. We know that pressure is force acting per unit area. So the pressure experienced because of the moving air is the dynamic pressure. The dynamic pressure is used to measure the aircraft's speed. This is done with the help of the formula for dynamic pressure, which is 0.5 into density into the square of the velocity. But the dynamic pressure cannot be measured directly because within the Earth's atmosphere, we always have dynamic pressure and static pressure. So now, let's see what is meant by static pressure. Static pressure is the pressure that is felt by a body such as an aircraft when it is stationary. When an aircraft is in flight, it is subject to both static pressure and dynamic pressure. If we add these two pressures, we get total pressure. To calculate the speed, we need the dynamic pressure. But the dynamic pressure cannot be measured directly. But we can measure the static pressure and the total pressure by using a pitot static system. On an aircraft, the pitot static system consists of a pitot tube which points forward and a static vent which is flush with the aircraft's skin. The air that enters the pitot tube gives the total pressure. The air which enters the static vent gives the static pressure. From these pressures, we need to calculate the dynamic pressure. The dynamic pressure can be calculated by subtracting static pressure from the total pressure. On an aircraft, this subtraction is done by a pressure gauge by taking inputs from the pit or tube and the static vent. This gauge is calibrated according to this equation for dynamic pressure and the needle moves based on the aircraft's speed. By giving a certain value for density or rho, the speed can be calculated. This is called as the indicated airspeed. In modern aircraft, inputs from the pit or tube and the static vent are sent to the air data modules. This converts the air data into digital format and is sent to different computers. Let's look at airspeeds in more detail. The indicated airspeed is accurate only at low altitudes. If the indicated airspeed is corrected for pressure error, then it is called as calibrated airspeed. If the indicated airspeed is corrected for air compressibility, then we get equivalent airspeed. If the equivalent airspeed is corrected for density at higher altitudes, we get the true airspeed. The true airspeed and the indicated airspeed are some of the important parameters that are used to fly the aircraft safely. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.